What's up my YouTube friends? Yeah, I kind of have some problems with the lighting in this room I think. Hope it's okay. But anyway, back in 82, remember when the movie Crip Show came out? It's this great collaboration between uh, director uh, George Romero, who was at that time famous for his zombie classics and other horror movies, and um, writer Stephen King, who was at that time famous for well, being Stephen King, I guess. <laughs> and this is a great combination of horror and comedy, and it's like five short stories based on the old EC uh, horror comics from the 1950s. And well, most horror fans dig this movie, it's like, I, I like it. But then five years later, oh snap, it's Creepshow 2. And well, I recently saw it for the first time ever and didn't know what to expect from beforehand, so I took a look at the internet movie database to, to read some user comments, and there were like, um, Looks cheap, but so damn funny. Oh, a great sequel with plenty of gore and laughs. Oh, not as good as the original, but a treat and fun entertainment for any horror anthology fan. So I thought, oh, that's going to be okay, but... It's, it's really, really bad. This time, George Romero wrote a screenplay based on stories by Stephen King and led the directing to his frequent cameraman, Michael... So yeah, um, w w what do we have? Three stories, short stories, and uh, well, I can summarize each of them in one sentence. First, we start off with Old Chief Woodenhead. Uh, a bunch of assholes, they, they rob a hardware store, and after that, the wooden statue that stands in front of the hardware store comes to life and gets revenge. So after that, the raft. Some, some stupid kids, they go to, to a lake to swim to this raft, only to find themselves being attacked by an oil slick or something. That sounds pretty... No. And uh, finally, the, the Hitchhiker. It's another, well, it's a pretty original title. Um, this dumb woman, she, she drives her to a hitchhiker and then she decides to leave him there, go on. And, well, later she's attacked by the same hitchhiker. Yeah. And in between we have the, the, the animated story of young Billy, but maybe I'll come back to that later. And, well, if you think the story sounds bad, the actual parts in the movie are even worse. So let's take a closer look at the different stories. So, the first story. Y you know, in one of the stories of the original Creepshow, we have the great Leslie Nielsen, may he rest in peace. But with Creepshow 2, we'll have to do with his naked gun boss and friend Ed Hogan, played by George Kennedy. Because in the, in the first story he plays this super nice guy who owns a hardware store with his wife. But times are hard of course, blah 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 blah. And then the, the, the chief Indian of the village or something brings some worthy stuff from his people. So that's a pretty cool thing to do from the chief Indian. But of course the chief has this asshole wannabe actor's son. And with some friends he decides to rob the, the hardware store. Oh, I really hate this bad guy, he's really like the, the most unlikable person ever. And that, that was probably on purpose, but still, I can't... St oh. So they trash the place, and after a while, the Indian guy, he kills the lady. At, at least I, I think he did. Uh, took me a while to realize he really killed her, isn't that clear? But, wow, that's, that's pretty hardcore, didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> well, then you can also kill the man, doesn't matter anymore now. So. They leave, and of course, what we saw coming from a thousand miles away, the statue that stands in front of the hardware store comes to life. For no reason at all, but hey. Yeah, well, you know, revenge can be this plot element in a film that can, that can work really well, especially when, when someone really deserves it. And, and these guys are like the, the biggest assholes possible, so oh, I can, really can't wait to see how the statue gets revenge. Yeah, it's going to be a big disappointment. It really is. So first is the fat guy. Oh man, I really can't stand him. So... Th that's it. Next, this guy. You know, walking in the garage. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's it. Next, at least give this this last guy, the Indian guy, an epic battle of action. Let's see. Ah! 
What? Wait, wait, he didn't even kill him? He just cuts off his hair? That, that's, uh, that's... Okay, second part. Story. And I... Uh, well, man, I can't believe how bad this one is. What? It starts off classic. You know, four teenagers who are heading to a lake to... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, probably smoke weed or something. <laughs> And then for some reason they're super psyched about this, this raft in the lake. So, so they make it out to be this huge adventure to swim to this raft. Oh. It's, it's just a raft, what's so great about it? Hey, Pancho, how you doing? So they all made it, but this, this one guy, he sees an oil slick or something and totally freaks out. Have you ever seen a perfectly round oil slick before? Well, the other guy's just being stupid and magically gets a dry joint even though he swam to the water. So, so we get some more wordless acting and awkward dialogue. I can't get worried about it, man. I mean, uh, no matter how hard I try, I just can't get worried about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, blah, blah, blah. And, and one of the girls is attacked by the oil, I guess, and gets devoured or something. And, and the rest, naturally, is very upset. It ain't Rachel. It ain't her up, man. It fucking ain't her up. What is this thing, Poncho? So yeah, and then the next guy gets attacked, but as a viewer you don't really care since he's just a douchebag. And yeah, this, this all makes no sense at all, there's no tension, nothing, you're really just waiting for everybody to get killed, so we hopefully get a decent last story. So they, the two remaining characters go to sleep and the next morning the, the guy decides to, I don't know, touch or rape the girl, I mean yeah, why not, <laughs> until she wakes up and... Oh shit, whoa, well, another victim. So the last guy, he swims back to the land. But will he make it? Will he make it? Will he make it? Yes! No. Oh wow, that was bad. That, that, was, that was really bad. And, and this part ends with, I don't know, maybe they thought that, that there was one last punchline when the camera moves to this sign. No swimming. Oh snap! Okay, last story. It starts off with this, this couple, or well, as it turns out, this guy is a male prostitute and this woman, I, I don't know, she's now late for an appointment or something. So she then hurries and talks a lot to herself, uh, trying to come up with an excuse for why she is late for whatever she's going to be late for. So There's this wonderful guy, he charges $150, but that's for six, count them, six orgasms. That's pretty boring. And then, after a while, she runs into a hitchhiker. But she's like, yo, fuck that shit, I'm getting the f*** out of here. So, later we see Stephen King in a small role as a truck driver. What the fuck happened? But it's pretty cool, but not super cool. So, back to the lady. She's still talking to herself a lot. It was an accident, a legitimate accident. And, and, and then she sees the hitchhiker again. Oh, shit. So she's being attacked and tries to get away. You get that? Because that's going to happen like a thousand more times. And that's basically the whole story. She drives him through a forest, shoots him, runs him over. More talking to herself in between, of course. I, I, I ran over some guy! Driving him into a tree and again and again and again and again. Man, she's one messed up person. So she falls asleep or something, or passes out, and when she wakes up, she thinks it was all just a dream. B but of course, this movie isn't written nor directed by Christopher Nolan, so it's not like we're going to get some smart plot twist or anything. So she arrives home and... Yeah. And, and that's it, that's Creepshow 2. I oh, well, there's still the, the animated story of Young Belly, but so bad I don't even want to discuss it so in conclusion it's pretty bad not in a so bad it's good way more in a so bad it's boring way so yeah